All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to import custom models in the new event. So we have our map here. Um, I'm going to create a new folder. It should be in map content. And this new folder is for, let's just call it imports. Just make things easier. Now you're going to get 3D model. Um, I already got a website. Uh, it's called Sketchfab. Um, this one's easy because it's T-posing. I found that those that are T-posing are easier to animate. So you're going to just download a 3D model. Download it as an FBX. All right, now that we have everything already exported, unzipped, you can go into your import folder, import, find it, and then import the FBX. For all of this, you're just going to reset default and then import all. This one doesn't matter, you can just clear it. And now, what we're going to do now is, as you can see, it's just completely blank if you click on this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the textures and we're going to drag them in. And now, you need some way to stick these onto this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new material. We'll just call it like soldier form material. And then you're going to open that. Just close a little bit. And then drag your two textures on. Now usually it should say what it's on. Like for example, this one says normal. So then you're going to drag it on to normal. But I mean well, this is like it doesn't there's no diffuse on this, but there's no base color, which is basically how it gets the main color. You can just connect it to base color. I'm gonna save it. And now you're going to go to the model itself. You're going to go to asset details, element, such as the material we just got, just created. There we have it. Now, in order to add animations to this, what you're going to do is you're going to open MixML. That's where I get all my animations. Um, what you're going to first do is upload character. So I'll upload it once again. And it should have everything. Hopefully if your character was lucky, it'll automatically read everything. And then you're just gonna go find find just something random and put it on. Alright, so once you find your position. I mean, your animation. You're gonna press download. Keep all this the same. Once you got that downloaded, open Unreal Editor again. Import, import the thing you just downloaded. It's default, import all. Now if this happens, if it successfully worked, all you have to do is just drag it out. But as you can see, mine didn't work. So what you're going to do is you're going to delete it. Alright, so now that didn't work, you're just going to import it again. Don't import the mesh, and then import all, and then it should work again. I don't know why it doesn't work, but sometimes if it, you gotta do it that way. So now it should work. So what you want to do now is to see if it works. You can launch the session. All right, now that we're in, if you look around here, get your character doing one of the poses. And yeah, that's how you import a character and animate it. 